Well, today is a big day. It's the bike relay. Just about to get started. We have some of the bikers here already for the different teams. Um, the female contingent looking pretty good. Um, I think each team would have one or two females. And so looking pretty good for the moment. The race should be starting anytime now. The organizers busy trying to sort out everything. I think this is the registration table. And uh, we're about to have the numbers being issued to the numbers are being issued to the bikers. And so we see that Wanda Parry is in this one. And it seems as if Curtis Clark would be riding today as well. Today, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Curtis Clark isn't riding today. So, very interesting developments here. Um, we do have um, quite a number of females, as I indicated. The sports department is also on hand. They'll be giving assistance. So, some of the sports officers and the director of sports is here. The bikers um, finalizing preparations prior to riding out, getting their numbers, and should be starting, the race should be starting soon. <laughs> Well, the athletes who are participating in this big event, they are posing for a photo shoot at this point. Based on the numbers we are seeing, we are seeing up to number eight. And so I would imagine that with number eight, it means that there are eight teams involved. And let's see if we could check the number of females. We have one, two, three, four, five, six seven about seven females involved in this particular event and so Everybody put your thumbs up it's gonna Woo! be a ring dinger what is it fit is sexy fit is sexy so we should be getting a start no, any moment now <laughs> what is that so we have eight teams of threes um, we've recognised that there are a couple of members that are missing. So what's going to happen in that situation? The team that has one person missing means they have to do six laps each. 
to balance out the relay. And I'm, I'm sure they're okay with that. Okay. <laughs> Everything's pretty much set to go. The volunteers are in place. The cyclists are now going to go into their bay areas and get ready to go on their bikes. We have a gun star and we're going to start out here. The first lap's going to be on the outside. So the first leg riders will be coming out. And uh, it should be a very interesting match up here today. So I'm just going to go through this again for one last time. Come on, I want everybody to cheer them on over here. Don't be quiet. Eh? Cheer them on! Come on! Louder! Louder! Yeah! Okay, everybody in a line, not staggered, as best as you can. I'm going to put the ladies in front. The ladies go to the front. The so, ladies the ladies the have been asked to go to the front. So, those ladies in the first leg have been asked okay, to go to the on. front. Just I could recognize Annalise is here in this on your one. Final leg, you're going to see the cones. Be, after you pass, the cones are going to be set up. On your final leg, you, you stay on the Four laps it is. And you continue your flow into the car park. Remember at the top, you have to dismount. Red, you either run or walk your bike to your bay to the yeah. next handover. They will hand over inside the TDC park okay. after four laps. So, just about to get Three. going. They're off and riding. Gun start and all. My goodness, Annalise having some problems early. And they're off. Well, they should be making four laps and uh, then they'll be back. So, Annalise holding the rear spot for the moment, but doing pretty well. This is only the first lap. And we see Tariq doing pretty well at the top. So Tariq leading the way for the moment. Eight teams involved in this one. And I can assure you that the police and the Red Cross are on hand just in case of any emergencies. We hope we do not have any emergencies today. But um, certainly as they go out of view, They'll be coming right back around in lap number two. So the first lap on the way of what should be a very intriguing bike relay today. I'm still not seeing Annalise make that curve. So hopefully she's right there now. Well, I could tell you this much that the faster riders are coming right around here in a flash because I just spotted them coming around um, Main Street, Charlestown. Here they come. Starting lap number two. That's Craig, doing pretty well. Craig at the top, thought that he was over. Tariq, not doing badly at all. So, Craig, who has been practicing on his bike as he rode to work. Hello! So, Craig and Tariq looking a little tired now. We have some other riders into view now. And um, that looks like Jeffrey Lewis struggling somewhat. His bike seems to be, it seems as if some kind of bulldozer is pulling it back. But um, so far, so good at the top. The riders are slowing up. It tells me that they are getting tired and they have two more laps to go. Looks like one of the females in the mix now. And. Uh, Riding alongside one of the guys. So, at the top, some of them already making that turn. We are on lap number two. Haven't seen Annalisa's yet to complete her first lap. Well, speak of the speak of the big athlete, Annalise will come into view momentarily. Annalise seems to be struggling somewhat, but guess what? The fact is she's there and her teammates will be happy when she finishes. So, Annalise going down the Samuel Hunkins Drive 
Um, I, I'm certain that right now she'll be hoping that she was in her fast car down at the racetrack at um, New River. She's a lot more comfortable in her speed car than on this bike, and that's very obvious from this distance. So we should be seeing the riders coming around momentarily for their third lap. So it's all about endurance, all about continuing until the laps are completed. And they're coming around at a pretty regular clip. Seems as if um, he was stopped momentarily. Um, maybe a matter of numbers. There's Wanda. She's blowing like a shark. But she's still going. Here goes number five. Team number five, Lightbird, Duck. I think Dr. Leibert should be finishing now, after all. Let's see what happens here. Yes, Dr. Leibert is completing the course, finally. So here he goes. So Dr. Leibard has completed the course. So this wonderful trophy that I have in my hand was sponsored by Ricardo Kane's law firm. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to present this today, so we had one of our committee members present it on his behalf. We just want to say we're very grateful for this sponsorship. It's for five years. The winning team will actually have their name engraved on this, and for the next four years after, the names will be added. So I want to say a special thank you to Mr. Ricardo Keynes for this fantastic trophy. We're most grateful.